Wow. Denmark, uh, yeah. Apparently you didn't like the warm weather down there. <laughs> Prefer the uh, cooler climbs yeah. here in Denmark, yes. Erica Anir in the crowd. Good crowd this morning as well. We woke everybody up in Odense. Yes, they did. It's a, again, the venue here is in the central of, of Copenhagen, oh, not Copenhagen, sorry, in Odense. And it's uh, just next to the big train sta uh, central train station. And uh, so a lot of people is walking past here and you can see a lot of people on the stands down at the end where they can just stop in and have a watch. And there's an archery tent out in the back where they can try out archery. So it's a great way to to promote archery in Denmark as well. So it's 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 amazing to, to see and uh, hear all the people that's watching it for the first time say, oh, this is actually really cool. I thought it was just Robin Hood flinging arrows, but no, it's actually a, a completely different level here. Wu Jin, the 19-year-old from China, ranked 20th in the world, taking to the stage here in Wienza, Denmark, as we get set for our second match. If you're just joining us, Carl Arkey, along with the great compound archer from Denmark, Martin Damsbo, kind enough to join us here on Archery TV, where we hope you're enjoying our live shot-by-shot -shot coverage, wherever in this big, wide world you may happen to be, whatever time of day it may happen to be. We're glad you're logged on and tuned in. 2016 Hyundai Archery World Cup Finals. Underway, first match is in the books. Chami Sun with a 7-1 win. Now Cassinia Perova, the 27-year-old ranked fifth in the world, oh. starts off strong. Just, just out. Did you catch it? I think it's just out. If Martin Damsbo tells me it's just out, I'm going with that. No, no, this is 70 meters. I can't see that far. <laughs> so don't take it to the bank. <laughs> I think that's caught, caught the line, yeah. So two close shots on the first efforts. So Perova averaging 9.1 per arrow. Makes it back to back nines. And Wu Jia Jin. Nine. At her first World Cup final, coming out shooting well, oh. pair of nines. Eight. And every once in a while that'll happen. Yep. Saw it uh, also yesterday for a lot of the compounds, even yeah, hmm? even the Mikey in the gold medal match and myself. We once one arrow once in a while he escapes the yellow part. So Wu Jin with a ten on her third shot takes the opening set and takes a two nothing lead over Casinia Prova. Good look at Casinia Prova who lives in Lesnoy. Came out on the tour in 2005, is competing internationally for about 11 years now. Senior, capturing a team gold medal a year ago here in Denmark at the World Championships in Copenhagen. Meanwhile, Wu Jiajin, this year, a team silver medal in Medellin and an individual silver medal in Medellin as well at stage two down in Colombia. And asserting herself already here in this match by taking the first set. Talk about the importance. We, we talked about this quite a bit yesterday uh, during the compound matches, Martin, but how significant it is to get off to a good start, how that affects you mentally. Oh, it's especially in this game here, it's, it's more or less all or nothing there because you, you want to get in there and put on pressure from from the first arrow because especially here when when they shoot the, the set system if you can pull away with the, with two points and just from the first set you're already okay I, not that you can lay, lean back and, and relax because you want to want to go all the way and keep pu applying pressure but if you have uh, a bad arrow then then it won't kill you from it so so you want to apply pressure from from the first arrow and, and especially here also if, if you can make three good sets, the first three good sets strong, then, mm -hmm. then you're done and you can go, go back to the next match. Go back, relax, have a cool drink. Yep. Then refocus and get ready. Casinha Prova grabbing an early lead in this set of that eight. 
provides an opportunity right now for Wu Jin to move ahead if she can shoot a 10. She can knock the score up with a 9, but she gets the 10. Proa puts it in the 9 ring, but she is vulnerable to go down 4 nothing. Eight, and they split. <laughs> yeah, also what, what, what people have to remember for, for the World Cup Finals here, it's a completely different mindset for the students, because normally you have a whole week of shooting, you have a practice, unofficial practice day, official practice day, then you have a ranking round, then you have the eliminations rounds. Here you can travel from, yeah, people coming from Mexico, Colombia, to travel over, shoot one day of practice, and then you go in, you have your set of shooting or for the common you have 15 arrows where take it or leave it maybe you go home after that could 15 be it, arrows yeah. yes so so for you to set yourself up and it, it's it's really really difficult mentally uh, so for the people that have tried it before been in a world cup final before they have definitely have a little bit of an advantage for people that haven't been there in, in there before it's you don't know what you expect. You'd expect, and it's such a weird feeling. Because it happened so fast. It happened so fast, it, it, and it's done yeah. before it's actually started. <laughs> so it's uh, it, it, it's such a weird setup. I was thinking about that yesterday in the mixed team competition. Uh, Alejandro Valencia and Camilo Cardona flew yeah. all the way from Colombia just shoot for that one match. To shoot eight hours each. You get eight hours uh, each, and it was over in about ten minutes. Yep, exactly. So. <laughs> At, at least it takes longer time than uh, doing a 100-meter sprint uh, this is at true. the Olympics. So this is true. <laughs> but, but yeah, it, it's, it's a really weird setup uh, to, to prepare yourself for. And well, for, for here, for the recurve, they have had the, the Olympics, so they've had a lot of stuff to do, a lot of stuff on their mind. But for, for the compound, we've had almost two months of no big tournaments. So to prepare yourself for one and a half, two months for something that could be as little as 15 arrows, it's, it's really, really mm -hmm. weird. It puts a premium on every one of these arrows. Exactly. For both the compound and the recurve archers. Eight. Pair of eights for Parova. Uh, so you want to put up a little bit more pressure too. Yeah, we're good. The youngest of the eight women competing here in Videnza. And she's competing very, very well, leading by three after the first two arrows of this third set. She already leads 3-1 in the match and three straight eights for Parova. Amazing group up there, but yeah. Just, Just not in the neighborhood you want to be in. No, no. You want to be in the high rent district. So the seven is enough. And that puts Wu Jin, the youngest archer competing amongst these women in recurve here in Denmark at this World Cup final. As we said, she won a silver medal in Medellin at stage two of this year's tour, which really was what helped vault her into a spot here at the World Cup finals in Denmark. Wu Jin now in a commanding position, leading five to one over Cassinia Prova. You're right, these Ricker archers, they were able to stay, <laughs> they were busy for quite yep. a while. They for were. the compound archers though, it was a long time between Antalya and here. And here. Yeah, it's, um, it, it's, it's hard to set yourself up for it. Uh, just keep, because you need to keep going out practice, keep shooting and, and keep all competing. that. Keep competing. Exactly. Um, but but uh, then uh, on the other hand, you can also say for the recap, they've been working their, sorry my words, but their, their, ass, tail off. their, their asses off for, for the Olympics, <laughs> you know, four years straight where everything has been on the game, mm -hmm. like from the pressure from the federations, from the media, and to to go for the Olympics that every four years. And some of them is doing great over them, some of them didn't get what they wanted, so for them also to come back, refocus, and get ready for this can be just, a ha just as ha hard a task. No. Because it's, it is really hard to find that focus and, and be able to compete at high level all the time when you don't have any breaks. And this so. is travel all over the world. Yep. So 
beautiful shooting by Wu Jiajian of China. But yeah, you will often see the, the person that didn't do well at, at the Olympics, they have something they want to wanna show themselves, that they mm -hmm. can do it here. So they have been home practicing harder than ever. Of course, Ksenia Perova, part of the team that won a silver medal in Rio. Some Bodromo. Nine. But she is up against a tough customer right now. They're tied at 19 apiece after the first two arrows of this fourth set, which could be the final set. 10 now would be good. Ten. He did that. Nice ten. one. Nice one. Puts the pressure on Wu Jin, who has to shoot at 10 to gain the split that would give her the one point she needs to wrap this match up. The 19 year old, right? 20th in the world. Oh, we get, we get another set. Ring. We get another set. I think we'll see a lot of close matches here on, on this venue. It'll, it'll be good archery. Well, right now, great conditions. Aside from uh, a few gusts that we saw in that opening match, the weather's really cooperated. Ideal conditions and Ksenia Perova showing her competitiveness. She was down 5 1, fought back, won that set. Now is back within 5 3. Yeah, she can't afford losing uh, even a point now, so she has to keep applying heavy pressure. Can't drop a set, can't split a set. Ksenia Perova backed into a corner. Of course, Ksenia Perova. She was able to get to Denmark by virtue of her performance in Antalya, where she won the silver medal, finishing second to Chemi's son. Some of the volunteers having a good time at the stands. <laughs> Camilla and Sif. <laughs> it's actually some of our young uh, junior recurb shooters. Uh, Camilla won the Berlin Open last year indoors, so they, they are, they're good upcomings. And they're dreaming about standing on this stage on the shooting line instead of as uh, volunteers. We've got a lot of great role models here in Denmark to look up to. Sarah Holst Sonnenschen, Erika Anir, Stefan Hansen, the guy sitting next to me, Martin Damsbo. Wu Jiajin dialed in. And Parova hits pay dirt. Yeah, she, she knows she needs them, so. Ms. Wu trying to avoid going to a tiebreaker. Tied at 19 all here in the fifth set. Oh, she was happy. So now she's at the mercy of Wu Jiajin. Just needs eight to win this match, wrap it up, move on to the semifinals. Eight to win. Nine. Nine's enough. And a 7-3 victory for Wu Jiajin of China as she dispatches Ksenia Perova. So both of the archers from the Russian Federation have fallen here in the first two matches as Wu Jiajin moves on along with Chemi Sun. Ms. Wu winning 7-3, Chemi Sun a 7-1 victor. That's sometimes the deceiving thing about the set system, Martin. Uh, these matches are a little bit closer than maybe the final score will, will indicate. Yes, it is. It's, uh, it's built up so you are, you are able to have yeah, that one bad arrow mm -hmm. and, and, and it won't kill you instantly. Mm -hmm. you, you, you can uh, fight your way back if, if you keep shooting strong. And some people like the system, some of the shooters don't like the system, but it's making a great TV spectator.